In this tutorial, what we'll try to learn is how to get from Figma to a web page or to a web document. So I have Figma open. I have several pages here. Home, Media, Gallery, Resume, Contact, Image Details. Then I also have the component header uh, just placed out on the uh, work workspace. And down here was a task list that we used when, when we were in class. I'm in the design view. So if I click on any of the elements like this box, I can see on the right side what some of the uh, positioning elements are. So I know this is 175 pixels over from the left and 515 from the top. I know that the picture is 498 wide and 401 high. And I know the uh, I got the image at 100%. And over here it says home page photo so I know that's going to be the name so what I can do is I can export the photo and get the photo exactly uh, as I want it for my code so the power of Figma is that when you go to prototype you have all of the connections to and from your website and you can actually prototype it and present the website so here's the media page I can click on the gallery page Here's a photo of me on the bike, so I can click bike. It will go to the large photo. Down here it says this is going to be a JavaScript file. So I need big images for this. And I click back and it goes back to the, to the uh, gallery page. So you see what happens when we're doing this. Now let's get back to our file. So the concept is the closer you get your design to what you want your website to look like, the better off you are. And the benefit of that is that when you click on something on the page, you can come over and click on code view and it will actually give you the exact information that you're going to need to make this into web code. It gives you the X and Y position. It gives you the width and the height. It gives you the name of the item and it gives you the fill position.